Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du Prat, are you ready? And welcome to the Samaya episode. So today you will learn how to say correctly in Luxembourgish before. During my Luxembourgish conversation classes, my students often want to say in Luxembourgish sentences such as before I go to work, I have breakfast. Now, how would you say before I go to work? So my students are always hesitating and most of the time I hear phrases such as Firun Eschkin ob Dabest. But this is not correct. Correct is Eja Esch ob Dabest Gin. Eja Esch ob Dabest Gin. Okay, so let's make a whole sentence. So how would you say before I go to work, I have breakfast? Hopefully you've said, Eja ösch ob da bestin, trinken ösch Kaffee. So we need to use in this example the tricky word Eja, Eja, to express before I, Eja ösch. But what is the difference between the words Firun and Eja? And what about the word Firdrun? Okay, so let me explain you the difference between these three words. So mixing up Eja and Firun and also Firdrun is a really common mistake for beginners as well as for advanced learners. All three words are different kind of words. Let me illustrate this with examples. Example one. I wash my hands before I eat dinner. How would you say this in Luxembourgish? Before I eat dinner. So, I wash my hands is Ösch wasche meng han. Eja Ösch zu ovent iersen. Eja Ösch zu ovent iersen means before I eat dinner. Okay, so in this example, before... So we have Eja connects the sentence Ösch wasche meng han with the second part of the sentence Ösch iersen zu ovent. Yeah? So Ösch wasche meng han, Eja Ösch zu ovent iersen. And Eja here is a word which we call a conjunction because it combines two parts of a sentence. And you may have noticed that Eja is followed by the subject, so Ösch, Eja Ösch. And the verb comes at the end of the sentence, Eja Ösch zu ovent iersen. Mir wiederholen de ganze Satz. Ösch wasche meng han, Eja Ösch zu ovent iersen. Example number two. How would, you, how would you say in Luxembourgish, I wash my hands before dinner? Hopefully you've said, Ösch wasche meng han, firundem oves iersen, or you can say firundem ovent iersen. Okay, and here we have firundem, which is contracted into firum. Okay, I will explain this later. Okay, so Ösch wasche meng han, firum oves iersen, or for dinner you can also say ovent iersen. Now, in this sentence, before, so firun, connects a noun, so dinner. 
and Firun is a preposition. And in Luxembourgish, we contract um, certain prepositions depending on the gender uh, of the noun which follows the preposition. So, Oventiersen is a neutral noun. Therefore, we have to say Firun dem. Dem is the dative form of the uh, neutral definite article. Okay, donc Firun dem is contracted into Firum. Okay. Now, If you are not familiar with the contraction of Luxembourgish prepositions, I invite you to sign up to my online course A1 Foundation, where I explain in detail the contraction of Luxembourgish prepositions and I prompt you as well to practice with many exercises. Let's come now to our last example or the last sentence. How would you say in Luxembourgish, I eat dinner? I will wash my hands before. Just a hint, in Luxembourgish, I will wash, we just stay in the present tense, we have no future. So, I eat dinner is in Luxembourgish. Ösch, Iersen, zu, Ovent, easy. And I'll wash my hands before is Ösch, wasche meng han, vier drun. Ösch, wasche meng han, vier drun. Let's repeat. Now, in this sentence, before, so fiedrun, connects nothing. But instead, it is a standalone reference. So, it is an adverb, an adverb. As you have now learned, eia, fiedrun and fiedrun are three absolutely distinct grammatical functions. Eia is a conjunction connecting two parts of a sentence. Firun is a preposition and Firdrun is an adverb. I am aware that the distinction of those terms doesn't come naturally to you at all. And that's exactly why I'm doing this lesson or this episode with lots of sentences to translate. So the goal is not that you won't make mistakes anymore after. The main goal is to raise your awareness for the difference. Because once you really understand the distinction, you will start to feel it, develop an intuition for it, right? So let's paraphrase the distinction again. If before refers to something happening, then you need eia. And eia is always followed by the subject eia ersch oder eia mir oder eia twierder. And the verbs come at the very end of the sentence. Let me put you to the test. How would you say, before we go to bed, we like to read? So hopefully you've said, Eia mir ant Batkin, liese mir ger. I repeat, Eia mir ant Batkin, liese mir ger. So you hear Eia mir, Eia is followed by the subject mir, and the verb gin is at the end. Eia mir ant Batkin, liese mir ger. So we could also have said, mir liese ger, Eia mir ant Batkin. That's possible as well. Another sentence for you to translate. Before I leave, I go out with the dog. In the sense of before I leave uh, by car, for example. So before I leave is eia ösch fortfuhren, ginnösch mam hond raus. Okay, so before I leave is eia ösch fortfuhren, I go out with the dog, ginnösch mam hond raus. Now I will also tell you here um, a grammatical rule. So we start the sentence with Eia ösch fortfuhren, and then there's a comma, and then we, we continue with the verb gin ösch. Okay, so this is the verb, comma, verb rule. Eia ösch fortfuhren, gin ösch mam hond raus. <clears throat> Now you will hear some native speakers say ihr, instead of eia. Now listen to the pronunciation of the two words, so to hear the difference. Ihr, so some people would, will say, ihr ösch fortfuhren, and other people would say, eia ösch fortfuhren. Okay, just to try to remember this. Now, if before refers to a noun, 
So then we use firun because firun is a preposition and we always put a preposition before a noun. So how would we say before dinner I watch the news? So before dinner that you have learned before this is firum oves irsen or you can say firum ovent irsen. And I watch the news is kukenisch tnorichten. Okay, so firum oves irsen kukenisch tnorichten. So the first element of the sentence is firum ovent irsen and then we have to put the second element, the verb. Remember this rule as well. So firum ovent irsen kukenisch tnorichten. And finally, if before stands alone and refers to a prior sentence, or if before is combined with that, so before that, we use fierdrun. Let's have a um, an translation exercise. How would you say, I'll come this evening, but before that, I want to eat. So, I'll come this evening is easy. Is ösch kommen den Ovent. Remember that we have no future, so we just stay in the present tense. Ösch kommen den Ovent. And, but before that, I want to eat is me vier drun will ich etwas essen. Okay, so me vier drun will ich etwas Iesem. And fiedrun is always followed by the verb, okay, when something comes um, behind, yeah. Okay, donc, ich komme in den Ovent, mi fiedrun will ich etwas iesem. Other examples, just to practice. I would just want you to, to practice and to get a feel, feeling about these three different words. How would you say, before work, I have breakfast? So before work, work here is a noun. So remember, when you have a noun, you use, well, the preposition firun. So firun da abest drinken ösch Kaffee. And be careful, here we say firun da, it is spelled D-E-R, because abest is a feminine noun. And you have learned that we have to use Now here the dative case and uh, the dative form of the definite feminine article is da, hm? firunda. So before work, firunda abest, drinken ösch Kaffee, I have breakfast. So to have breakfast in Luxembourgish is ösch drinken Kaffee. And be careful here, we have to put the verb before the subject. How would you say, I go to work? Before that, I have breakfast. Now, hopefully you've got it now. So, I go to work is... Before that, I have breakfast. Easy, you have learned it. Vier drun trinken ich Kaffee. Easy. Vier drun trinken ich Kaffee. And another sentence. I have breakfast... Before I go to work. So you have learned to, to say how to say I have breakfast or ich trinke Kaffee. Before I go to work, eia ich ob da bist gehen. Ich trinke Kaffee, eia ich ob da bist gehen. Now I hope that you have got a little bit of feeling now about these three words. And now you can pause the podcast or the episode and then listen again. Okay. Well, I think this is enough for this episode or do you want the last sentence to translate? Yes, I think huh? And another sentence. I have another one. Um, for example, how would you say um, my students are often nervous before the test. So it's very important here, before the test. So let's start with before the test. Which word would you use? Would you use eia, fiedrun or fierun? Well, you have to look who which follows here before. Before here is followed uh, by a noun, then we have to use a preposition. And here this is firun. 
And before the test is firun dum test, because test is a masculine noun, and then we will contract it into, into firum. Don't before the test is firum test. And the whole sentence would be Meng studenten sind oft nervös firum test. Meng studenten sind oft nervös firum test. Great. Um, now, thank you for having listened until the end of this episode, and I hope this was helpful. And if you would like to learn with us and get results within a few months, then reach out and schedule a free consultation call so that we can help you to organize your learning journey so that you ultimately reach your goal. You will find the link in the show notes below. Merci für das Nachlaustern. Am Ersuchen bis nächste Woche. Adieu.